Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Queen Thistle's day off. Da da do dum da dee do da 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 da. I'm going to visit my sister today. Will you be all right on your own? Yes, Mummy. I'll be okay. Don't worry, Queen Thistle. We'll be fine. Yes, darling. We'll all be fine. You'll be fine. But what about Daisy and Poppy? They need looking after. Oh, Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> but, Mummy, when you're not here, the twins are always so naughty. <laughs> magicy, magicy. Uh, yes, they can be quite a handful. <laughs> what a lot of fuss about two tiny children. Just let them play. But don't let them do any magic. Right. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And read them a story before they go to bed. Yes. yes. Very well. Goodbye, everyone. Have fun. Bye. 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 So what are we going to do? Mummy's the only one who can handle the twins. Don't worry. Nanny will know what to do. Um, I think I've got some important things to do in the kitchen. But Nanny... Aren't you going to help us look after the twins? I'm sure you, Ben and King Thistle can manage. Right. We just need to keep the twins busy. <laughs> I know. Let's play a game with them. It has to be something safe. What about building blocks? That can't go too wrong. OK. <laughs> Watch Daddy build a big tower. Magic me a tower and make it big. Ooh. Big, big. <gasps> Mummy said not to let the twins do magic. Oh, don't worry, Holly. It's easy to make blocks little again. Little, little. There, you see, Holly. Little, little. Ah, uh, Daisy. Poppy, give Daddy your wands. Little, little. Help! Wow, they've made King Thistle really small. Daisy, Poppy, that wasn't funny or clever. Little, 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 little. Ah, they've made us little. Don't worry, I'll magic us back to normal size. I just need my wand. My wand's too heavy. I can't lift it. Maybe we should call Nanny Plum. Good idea, Ben. I'll ring the bell. Da da dum, do da di da, da la la di da 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 da. We need to pull harder. Di da di. Oh, I wonder what they want. Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum! Eh? We're here! <gasps> Why are you so tiny? Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum. But it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby, baby dolly! Baby, baby dolly. dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh, no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben. <laughs> this is heavy. All together, push. Hello? 
Mrs Elf speaking. Mum, it's me, Ben. Oh, Ben, you sound different. Yes, we need a bit of help. Please come quick. Right-o. She's on her way. Thank goodness. I wonder what the matter can be. <laughs> Baby Plum is lots of fun. Bath me, please. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Hello, Poppy. Can you tell me where the big children are? We're down here. <gasps> Daisy and Poppy put a spell on us. And we need a bit of help. Your Majesty. <laughs> we do seem to have got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Yes, the twins are a little high-spirited today. Could you calm them down, please? Of course. Now, now, Daisy and Poppy. I'm sure you're not meant to fly so high. <laughs> fly so high. Fly so high. <laughs> fly high in the sky. <laughs> now, girls, put me down this instant. Poor Mrs Elf. Elves don't like flying. Looks like we need even more help. I'll call for more elves. Hello, Mr Elf speaking. Mr Elf, we've got an emergency at the little castle. Bring the elves. Bring all the elves. Right ho. Calling all elves! Emergency at the little castle! Right -o. If there's a problem, what do we say? Call an elf right away! And what are we? We're elves! Baby Plum is up so fun! The elves are here! What's the emergency? It's the twins! Is that you, Mrs Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr Elf. Goodness me, Mrs Elf. I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible. <laughs> oh, no. The twins have made all the elves invisible. <sighs> Who's going to help us now? Hmm. It's very quiet in the castle. I hope everything's all right. Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? She's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Let's put everything right again. Make this magic all undone. Good evening, Your Majesty. So... Are you telling me that I've gone away for just one day and the whole kingdom couldn't look after two little children? Uh, yes. We tried our best, Mummy. But the twins really are a bit of a handful. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it, they weren't that bad. It was rather fun, really. <laughs> yes. I'm sure if you went away again, Queen Thistle, we'd manage just fine. That's good, because I'm going to visit my sister again. 
next week. <gasps> no! <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Planet Bong. Holly, it is I, Zyros, from Planet Bong. Oh, hello, Zyros. Nice to see you again. What's all this noise? Is it an alien invasion? No, it's our friend Zyros from Planet Bong. We have come for help from the Wise One. The Wise One? That must be me. No, dear. I think he means the wise old elf. Oh, yes. Smarty Pants. He lives at the great elf tree over there. Thank you. We will go and look for Smarty Pants. It's Cyrus, the alien. Hello. Hello, Elf Ben. We are looking for the one they call Smarty Pants. He must mean the wise old elf. Did someone say my name? Goodness me, alien! <gasps> we need your help, Smarty Pants. Well, of course. Anything I can do. Is it true you can solve any problem? Yes, I can solve any problem. Good. We have a big problem. Once upon a time, our home planet was a wonderful planet. It was covered in plants and all was good. There was everything we needed, and we were surrounded by beautiful flowers. We worked happily in our factories, and everything was fine. It sounds very nice. Yes, it was. But now it is very hot, and the plants do not grow anymore. Oh, that's a shame. So we want you to bring all the plants back to life and make Planet Bong nice again like it was before. Uh, that sounds a bit difficult. But can't you use your magic? Magic? Elves don't do magic. And I'm an elf. So, you cannot help us. You are not Smarty Pants. Yes, I am Smarty Pants. And I will save your planet with uh, b b magic. But wise old elf, elves don't do magic. Shh, don't worry about it, Ben. Good. We go now. This will be an elf expedition to save Planet Bong. Uh, I'll just need to stop on the way to collect a friend. For goodness sake, what is it now? We have found Smarty Pants. Here I am. How do I get down? Is there a ladder? I am afraid we do not have this ladder you speak of. Merely a primitive tronic beam. Ooh. Cool. But what do you want? It's the middle of the night. We're going to Planet Bong. It's very hot there. Ah, a holiday. I love holidays. I'll come too. Holiday, holiday. Yes, and I have a job to do there, which may require the services of a fairy helper. I can help. I'm good at helping. I need a sensible fairy. That's me. A fairy who does magic in a responsible, grown-up way. It's almost like you've said my name. Oh, very well. If we're going on holiday, we'll need to pack some things. No, no, no. It's not a holiday. Whatever. Let's see. What do we need for a holiday? Swimming costumes and towels? We'll need sunscreen. Sunscreen. Buckets and spades. Buckets and spades. Picnic basket. Beach ball. First aid kit. Cooker. Deck chairs. She's bringing everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, I nearly forgot. Thank you, wise old elf. Kitchen sink. Wow, you got all that into your bag. Yes, it's my magic bag. Come. 
Um, it's not really a holiday. We must leave. Hold tight, everyone. It can be bumpy. What do you mean, bumpy? Ah! Why are we floating? There is no gravity in space. Nothing to hold you down. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the ship's gravity motor. Ooh. Ooh. Ow! <gasps> Look at all the pretty sparkly lights. Behold the wondrous science of an alien race. Where's the toilet? We do not go to the toilet. Incredible! Being so advanced, they have stopped needing to go to the toilet. No toilets? What if I want to go? You should have gone before we set off. Maybe there'll be toilets at the beach. Is there a beach on Planet Bong? Planet Bong is all beach. Wow! All beach! Yes, it is very hot and sunny. Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes. Amazing. Can it make jelly? No, it can make anything in the universe, but not jelly, which is a shame because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! Nanny. What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Oh, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! Ah! Jelly blood! <laughs> a jelly flood inside a pressurised spacecraft. Nanny, you have surpassed yourself. Thank you, wise old elf. <laughs> Mmm, magic jelly is very tasty. <laughs> <gasps> what was that? We're slowing down. The engine is stopped. Why? I'll tell you why. It's full of magic jelly. Oh. Drifting in deep space. We're stuck here forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever. Stuck here forever, aren't we? No, we have Smarty Pants. He can fix the engine. Well, uh, uh... I will open the engine. Now, Smarty Pants will go outside and fix the engine. Uh, I'd love to, but I can't go outside. I don't have a spacesuit. A spacesuit? Oh, hang on. I think I packed one in my magic bag. Here you are. Uh, thank you, Nanny. Hmm, <laughs> this looks a bit like plumbing. Elves are good at plumbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> oh. Hello there. What are you doing here? I'm the fairy helper, remember? Well, don't touch anything. This is advanced alien technology capable of travelling across the universe at the speed of light. Although, it is very like plumbing. Maybe if I give it a kick. <laughs> Why don't you just give it a push? Give it a push? This technological miracle? You just gave it a kick. Oh, uh, OK. Let's give it a push. It's just like getting a car to start. OK, Mr Zyros, give it a bit of gas. OK. Push! <laughs> Nothing. More gas. OK. Whoa! It worked! They went off like a, a rocket. Next stop, Planet Bomb! Hey! Hey! Come back! They've left us! That's outrageous! Help! Oh. 
Help! Will Nanny Plum and the wise old elf be lost in space forever? Find out next time in Planet Bong, Episode 2. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Nature class. Let's check you're all here. Holly, Violet, Rosie and Strawberry. Good. Now hold hands. I don't want to lose any of you in the woods. Ugh, Nanny Plum, do we have to do nature class today? It's boring. Yes, all we do is learn the names of trees. And mushrooms. And frogs. Now, now, girls. Every young fairy needs to know the names of trees and mushrooms. And frogs. And frogs. Up ahead is a lovely example of a mugwort flower. <sighs> ben, Barnaby, Jake and Lizzie. Good. Today we are having nature class. Follow me. Excuse me, wise old elf. Why do we have to do nature class? Because, Ben, it's important that every young elf learns about nature. <sighs> Who can tell me what this is? Um, uh, uh... Is it a sort of plant? A wilted thistle is the correct answer. Oh. Now, what's the name of this flower? Oh, we seem to have walked into some elves. Good day, Nanny Plum. Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're doing nature class. So are we. Let's team up. Yes! <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Quite so. Elf and fairy nature classes are very, very different. We're learning names of plants and things. So are we. Please, Nanny Plum. Can we have one big class? Please, Mr Wise Old Elf. Oh, very well. I suppose I can handle a few more children. What? Wise Old Elf, there's no need for you to hang around. But, but... You can collect your children when my lesson's over. No doubt there's some charming fairy name for this plant, but my class has identified it correctly as a welted thistle. Oh, isn't it Harry Bittercress? Oh, interesting. Or Harry Bogweed. You both know the silly plant names. So you should both take the class. Hmm, on one condition. No magic. I'm doing nature class today, not magic class. So it's agreed. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Look! Ah, an acorn. Now, what does an acorn grow into? Is the answer an oak tree? I was asking the children. Yes, yes, but an oak tree is the right answer. What the wise old elf is trying to say is that this little acorn will grow into a huge oak tree. Ooh! Cool! Can we see it grow now? Oh, it will take years and years to grow into a tree. Oh. We could give it some magical help. Nanny Palum, we agreed. No magic. But look at the children's sad little faces. They'd so like to see the acorn grow into a tree. No. Please, Nanny Plum, make the acorn grow into a tree. Yes, yes. please, Nanny Plum. I'd love to, but it's up to the wise old elf. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well. I'll just do a little spell. Stand back, children. Just a small tree, please. Yes, yes. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow, little acorn grow, grow, grow! Wow! 
Nanny Palum. Is that your idea of a small tree? Um, it is big, isn't it? But I can easily make it smaller. No, no, it's fine as it is. Let's move on. Next up, mushrooms. Ah, oh, good. Mushrooms. Who can tell me what this is? A toadstool! Uh, yes, correct. Now, you should never, ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very... What Mr Old Elf is trying to say is that you should never, ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very sick. Indeed. So, never, ever eat a toadstool. Yes, wise old elf. Of course, I expect the wise old elf would like to sit on it. What? Elves love sitting on toadstools. Madam, I think you will find it is gnomes that sit on toadstools. Elves, gnomes, whatever. You would never catch an elf sitting on a toadstool. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dad. Hello, Mr Elf. Hello, Holly. I see you've found my special reading place. Ah, it just catches the sun at this time of day. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, here we have a toadstool. With an elf on top. Um, yes, with an elf on top. He looks very happy. Uh, right. Let's move on. Yes, we have time for one last thing. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr Elf. Bye. What do you think the last thing is? I bet it's frogs. Nanny always shows us frogs. Yes, it'll be frogs. Who can guess what we're going to see next? <sighs> frogs. Yes, we're going to look at frogs. Um, uh, there aren't any frogs here. Not one frog. Well, that's disappointing. Can we go home now? Well, it's no problem. I'll turn one of us into a frog. Can I have a volunteer, please? Come on. Who wants to be a frog? Goodness, what a lot of miseries. I'll just have to do it myself. Zigzag Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <coughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> And how smelly it is. Oh, stinky, whippy poo! And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum, we can't leave her as a frog. Can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um... I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari. Um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Africa fairy, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Yes, Nanny Plum. Fascinating, Mistress Plum. But if we might return to nature class for a... Yes, children. What Mr Old Elf is trying to say is that... That brings today's nature class to a close. close. That was the bestest ever nature class. Thank you, Strawberry. It was excellently cool. Thank you, Barnaby. So, from now on, Nanny Plum and 
and the wise old elf always teach us nature class together. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, if you insist. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Lost in deep space. I can't believe they just left us behind. I hope they turn the spaceship around and come back for us. Yes, otherwise we'll be floating here together for all eternity. How long is eternity? A very, very long time. Oh, well, let's play a game while we're waiting. I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. Stars. Yes, you're good at this. Can I have another go? If you must. I spy with my little eye something beginning with, um, S. Stars. No, space. Ha, <laughs> you see, this is a really good game. This is going to be a very long eternity. Holiday, here we come. Soon we will be at Planet Bong. But what about the wise old elf and nanny? Oh, we left them behind. Well, it was nice knowing them. No, Daddy. We have to go back for them. Yes, without smarty pants, we cannot make Planet Bong beautiful again. Stars. No. Space. No. Oh, all right. It was stars. Can I have another go? No. Oh. Wise old elf. Saved! We're saved! Saved from an eternity of I Spy. Oh, don't worry. We can carry on on board. There's loads of things. Spaceship. Uh, spacesuit. Ugh. Smarty Pants, when we get to Planet Bong, you will make all the plants grow again. Uh, of course. Listen, Nanny, when we get to Planet Bong, I may need a little bit of help. Yes, I am the fairy helper, and I already helped you mend the flying saucer. Yes, this might be a bit bigger. How bigger? Big! We are here, Planet Bong. Wow! Planet Bong is all sand and hot. The perfect holiday planet. <gasps> We're going into the ground. I am home again, and I have brought Smarty Pants to save our planet. The great leader of Planet Bong is here to celebrate this special meeting of peoples. Hello! He's tiny! Yes, on Planet Bong, we get smaller as we get older. Hello! Who said that? <laughs> He's down there, Daddy. Oh, hello. Hello. Say hello, everybody. The great leader is very old. It is a fantastic honor for you to meet him. Say hello, Gaston. Hello. <gasps> Gaston's eaten the great leader. Uh. Naughty Gaston. Spit the great leader out. <coughs> Terribly sorry. He's not really house-trained. Uh, yes. <laughs> As our special guests, we will now welcome you with a song. What a horrible noise! When are they going to start playing the tune? This is our national anthem. And delightful it is, too. Cyrus? Why do you live underground? Once, Planet Bong was covered in plants. Everywhere was green and beautiful, and the people were happy. Then the plants began to die out. It became too hot to live on the surface, so we moved underground. Everyone lives underground? Yes, even the animals. Animals? <laughs> Whoa! Ah, an alien monster! Don't worry, it is just a flobber gurgle quad splog. It is a pet. Oh. Oh. 
The flubber gurgle thwats blog is so cute. <laughs> Mummy, can we take the flubber gurgle thwats blog back home with us, please? I think it is much happier living here, darling. Oh. Um, when do we go to the beach? Now. We will take the lift. Lovely big beach. But where's the sea? There is no sea. So where can we swim? Nowhere. There is no water. Not for swimming, not for drinking, not for anything. Nothing but sand. Yes, just sand and sand and sand and sand and sand. Yes, Planet Bong is sand and sand and sand. Planet Bong is doomed! So, this isn't a holiday? No, it's a rescue mission, Your Majesty. Yes, Smarty Pants is here to save us. Please, Smarty Pants. Make the plants grow? Uh, yes. I've given this problem a lot of thought, and I believe that I, Smarty Pants, have the answer. Good. So, without further ado, I will hand over to my fairy helper. Me? Yes. Just magic the plants up, would you? Oh, right. It is very excellent. Thank you. My pleasure. Now, please do the rest of the planet. What? The whole planet? Yes. But I'm Nanny Plum, not an interplanetary terraforming bioengineer. Do you mean this is it? Yes. Plants aren't easy to do. Lots of fiddly bits. Oh. So, Smarty Pants, you cannot save us after all. Uh, well, no. Thank you for trying. So, Planet Bong will never again have lots of plants and be beautiful once more? No. Wait a minute. Plants need water to grow. Yes. And if you had lots of water, you could have lots of plants. Yes. So, we just need to make it rain. I can do that. Rain's much easier to make than plants. It's just water. Then, please, make it rain. Magic wand on Planet Bong. Make it rain loud and strong. Nothing is happening. Did the magic work? Yes, it worked. Look up. Clouds. Yes, and lots of them. And clouds mean... Innocent, unspoiled world of nature, gentle and beautiful in its loveliness. Yes. Right, lads, back to work! What's happening? We are starting up our factories again. Are they supposed to make all that smoke? Yes. They always do that. How lovely. And now you can have your holiday. Uh, you know what? I think we'll just go home. Very well. I will take you home. <laughs> Next stop, Planet Earth. <laughs> you again, Smarty Pants. Oh, it was nothing. For you, maybe. I magicked up a whole planet's worth of rain. To honour our alien guests, the elf band will now play a tune. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Oompa, oompa, 
adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Toy Robot. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play. I'll be right down. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> Let's play in the meadow. <coughs> Gaston, fetch! Hi, everyone! Hello, Hello Barnaby. Barnaby! What are you doing? We're throwing sticks for Gaston. Gaston likes fetching sticks. <laughs> oh, that's not a stick. Hello, everyone! Hi, Hi Strawberry! <gasps> What's that? It looks like a tin arm. Gaston, where did you find this? Wow! What's that? It's a toy robot. Ooh. It's a bit broken. We could mend it with magic. Uh, no thanks, Strawberry. We'll fix it the elf way. Elves are very good at fixing things. And we're elves! <laughs> there! Finished! Ooh. So, will it talk? Will it make me a cup of tea? No, it's just a toy robot. It'll do this. Uh. Uh, 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 That's a bit boring. Uh, it isn't boring. That's what toy robots do. Let's switch it on. It doesn't do anything. Oh, oh. maybe it needs batteries. No, it's clockwork, but there's no key. Oh, magic a key. Oh. Holly, I don't think we should use a magic key. Magic can be dangerous. I'm sure it will be OK. Whatever happens, it will be fun. Mm, all right. <coughs> Shush, Gaston. <coughs> OK, let's see what happens. It's working! Master, what is your name? Ooh. Is that what it's supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, I'm Ben Elf. Ben Elf, you are my master. We thought robots went, er, er, er. Help! Help! Oh, oh no. no! Put us down, you silly robot. Put the girls down! I only answer to my master, Ben Elf. Robot, uh, put the fairies down, please. Yes, Ben Elf. And say sorry. Sorry. That was a bit scary. Hmm, it's not like a normal toy robot. I think my key might have made it a bit magic. But it seems to do what I say. So we should be OK. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. What do you have there? We found a toy robot. It was broken, so we mended it. Well done. Ah, yes. This is the old Mark Z33 built by the Elf Factory. Hmm, it was a rather basic model. Uh, please don't get it angry. I beg your pardon, Ben Elf. You talk as if it can understand. Well, it does seem to. It's just a toy robot. 
only capable of going... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Ah! Put me down, you silly robot! You are a rude old elf. Ooh. Robot! Put the wise old elf down! Yes, bad elf. Oh, oh very strange. I, I don't remember the Z-33 being able to talk. It's escaping! We'd better get it back! Da da dum, do da di da. Da da la la, da dum di da. Da 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 da, da di da di. What a beautiful sound! Da da di dum, da dum di da. Oh! Where's it gone? Ah! That sounds like Nanny Plum! Help! Help! <gasps> Robot, put Nanny Plum down! Yes, Ben Elf. Oof! Oh, thank you, Ben. What is this thing? It's just a toy robot. But it does anything Ben says. Really? Yes. Watch this. Robot, clean up the courtyard. Must clean up. Must clean up. Must clean up. It's very good, isn't it? I'd like one of those to do all my cleaning. You can Must borrow my robot up. if you want Must to. That's very up. kind of you, Ben. Must Maybe I'll borrow it just for this evening. Must OK, robot, I'm going home now. But I want you to stay here and tidy the castle. Yes, Ben Elf. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. My goodness. Must tidy What's up. this? It's Must Ben's robot. Nanny has borrowed it to tidy up the castle. It looks like it's doing a very good job. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Hmm. I think I prefer the traditional fairy way. Dinner time! Ah, oh, oh, dinner. dinner! Ah, I expect the robot has come to serve us our dinner. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Oh, Must tidy goodness up. me. I think we should tell this robot to stop. We can't. The robot only listens to Ben. So what can we do? Uh, Ben told the robot to tidy the whole castle. So maybe we should go to bed and let the robot finish. Good idea, Holly. The robot should have finished tidying by morning. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. What? Is it morning already? Uh. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Put me down! Put me down! Uh. Uh. Goodness me! What's happening? The robot is tidying up everything. Yes! Including us! It's a monster! How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it! Hello? Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now! Right-o! Ben, there's an emergency at the little castle. We have to go right away. Right-o! Elves to the rescue! <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing! And what are we? We're elves! <laughs> it's the elves! Hooray! Look! There's my robot! Ah! Put me down! Oof! Bad elf! Master! 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 Oh, it's wound down. Hooray! But what could have caused the toy robot to act so strangely? Uh, I think it was my magic key that did it. Ah, magic! magic.
What have you got there, Gaston? It's the proper key. Well done, Gaston. Uh, Ben, are you sure that's a good idea? It'll be fine. Ah, that's the toy robot I remember. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Fig's magic school. The Queen Bakes Cakes. Hello, Mrs. Fig. Lovely autumn day, isn't it? Um, yes, wise old elf. Only problem is, the apples are starting to fall. Wow, that was close. So far, I've been lucky. They've all missed my magic school. <laughs> oh, that one didn't miss. Oh, dear. My poor magic school. Broken. Well, you're a fairy. Can't you just mend it with magic? No. Magic always leads to trouble. You don't like magic, do you, Mrs Fig? That's right, Holly. I want to mend the school the normal, sensible, safe way by using a builder. Well, you're in luck. I'm a builder, but it won't be cheap. We're going to need bricks, cement, roof tiles. I know. We'll have a cake stall. The money we make from selling cakes will pay for the repairs. A cake stall? It sounds fun. Let's tell everyone to get baking. Daddy! Daddy! An apple fell on Mrs Fig's magic school. And now the school has a big hole in it. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Mrs Fig is asking everybody to bake cakes to raise money. Bake cakes? Uh, well, don't tell your mother about that. About what, darling? Mrs Fig is running a cake stall. Oh, how exciting. I'll bake some cakes. R really? There's no need. Mrs Fig needs them today. Then I'd better start straight away. Oh, no. What is it, Daddy? Your mother is not very good at baking cakes. Oh. She bakes horrible cakes and she gets very upset if anyone doesn't like them. dum de dum de dee de doo That's odd. Who's in my kitchen? <gasps> the Queen baking cake! Yes, Nanny Plum. Would you like to try a cake? Maybe later. Cakes! Cakes! The Queen's baking cakes! I know. We'll have to leave the country. Pack a bag, everyone. The Queen's cakes can't be that bad. They're worse than bad. They're... Cake time. Who wants to try my lovely cakes? Uh, um, um, oh, um, I've got rock cakes. Fudge cake and gingerbread. They look lovely. In fact, they look too good to eat. You don't want to eat them, do you? You think they're horrid. No, no, no. I can't wait to try them. Have a rock cake. Ow! Did you just say ow? No, I said oh. Is it nice? It's inedible. I, I mean, incredible. But maybe I'll save it for later. Try the fudge cake. Ah, uh, isn't it someone else's turn? Don't you want my fudge cake? Of course I do. What do you think? <coughs> Tasty? <coughs> Are you all right, Daddy? My mother's stuck. What's he saying? I'm saying my mother's stuck. Oh, I think his mouth is stuck shut. <coughs> Oh, that was horrific! You think the fudge cake is too sticky, don't you? You hate it! No, no, of course not, darling. It's uh, amazing! Oh, good. Try the gingerbread. Dunk it in your coffee. That will make it all soft and yummy. Um, the coffee's just rolled off it. It's completely dry. Take a bite. You know, maybe I'll save this one for later, too. OK. Well, I can't stand around chatting. I've got loads more cakes to bake. 
Rock hard rock cakes, super sticky fudge, waterproof gingerbread. We'll have to warn the whole of the little kingdom. The Queen's baking cakes. <laughs> Baking cakes! Oh, no! I can't eat one of those cakes again. No one can eat them and survive. Hello! Cake time, everyone. Uh, yes, but you shouldn't have troubled yourself, Your Majesty. We already have lots of cake. You don't want my cakes. Oh, yes, we do. You think they're horrible, don't you? Of course we don't. Oh, Good, then. I'll put them here. That should raise lots of money to mend your school, Mrs Fig. Thank you, Your Majesty. Maybe I should have used magic to mend the school. It would have been less dangerous. Keep clear of the cakes. No one eat them. Ooh, cakes. Wait! Yow! What kind of a cake is that? It's a rock cake. Queen Thistle baked it. Oh, the Queen baking again. The fudge cake glues your mouth shut. And the gingerbread is waterproof. Incredible! What can these things be made of? I want to do some tests on these cakes. This machine tests how strong things are. Let's start with something very weak, like this egg. The egg had a strength of one. Now let's try a brick. The brick had a strength of five. Now let's try the Queen's rock cake. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's reached eleven. Eleven? Nothing has gone to eleven before. Stand up, <gasps> The cake broke the machine. That cake is the strongest substance known to man. The fudge cake stuck Daddy's mouth shut. Hmm, let's test how sticky it really is. Stop, wise old elf! Don't touch the fudge cake! You'll be stuck to it forever! OK, let's just say the Queen has created the stickiest substance known to man. What about the gingerbread? Daddy dipped it in his coffee and it stayed dry. Let's see how waterproof it is. Amazing! The most waterproof substance known to man. These cakes must be locked away. They must never be eaten. Not eaten, no. But maybe they can be used for something else. I do hope I've made enough cakes. What if they need more for the cake stall? Trust me, they won't want any more cake. More cake, please. Really? Yes, as many as you can bake. And fudge cake. And gingerbread. Oh, goody. They love my cakes. I'd better get baking. Who's eating all these cakes? Eating them? No one's eating them. So why do you want more? These cakes are the perfect building material. The rock cakes are super strong bricks. We're gluing them together using the super sticky fudge cake. And then the super waterproof gingerbread makes great roof tiles. Amazing! But of course, you must never tell the Queen. Never tell the Queen what? Uh... Oh, Mrs Fig, you've mended the school, so you managed to raise enough money by selling my cakes. Um, let's just say your cakes were a great help. Yes, three cheers for Queen Thistle. Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip! Hang on. These bricks look just like my rock cakes. Uh, yes. And this cement is just like my fudge cake. It is my fudge cake. Oh, no! At least she hasn't spotted the roof. And the roof tiles are my gingerbread. You didn't want to eat my cakes. Well, they're not really for eating, are they, darling? Not if you want to survive. I thought 
Everybody liked my cakes, but nobody did. I wish I'd never baked a single cake. <laughs> but, Mummy, if we hadn't baked any cakes, we wouldn't have mended the school. Holly is right. It's only because of your baking the magic school is fixed. I suppose that's true. Hooray for Queen Thistle! Hooray! In fact, we could do with some cakes to finish the chimney. If you don't mind baking some more. Could you make some bricks for my house? I want to build a patio. Do you do paving slabs? Well, I suppose I could. Do you do drain pipes? Do you do MDF? Everyone loves my mummy's cake. 